Wolf Pickley is with Eurasia Group and is the head of the firm's Europe practice and joins us now. Good to have you with us, Wolf. Um, it's interesting that most analysts say that if Europeans could vote in the US election, then uh, Obama would win hands down. That's not really to do with his handling of the US economy, though, is it? No, I think it's much more a question of image. Is the question that Obama is seen as being able to, to get in touch with the single individuals in a much more effective way the, than Romney. And Romney, to a very large extent, is a very unknown entity to most of the Europeans. So that is the advantage Obama has. And it's not surprising to see, for example, that 92% of the Germans will vote for Obama. Mm. We know that the European financial crisis uh, does impact on America. Is it impacting on the US elections? Are, are Americans deeply concerned? about uh, the euro crisis? The potential for impact was there until basically the end of the, the summer. Uh, in May, June, the U.S. administration was very concerned with Obama basically keeping in touch with European leaders almost on a daily basis. But since the intervention of the ECB later in the summer, the potential for the Eurozone crisis to have an impact on the U.S. presidential election has significantly diminished. It's also important, uh, interesting to see that uh, when you look at the presidential debate in the United States, it, there is one clear takeaway there. Nothing has been learned by either Obama or Romney about the Eurozone crisis, meaning the debate has been about the economy in the U.S., but not, not, not much at all, we have heard not much at all about how to tackle the budget deficit in the United States. So it's a missed opportunity here also for the, for the American leaders to learn from what, has been, what is still happening in, uh, in the Eurozone. Uh, and in reality, I mean, whether Obama uh, gets in again or Romney gets in, there's not a lot that either man can do about the crisis in Europe, is there? Absolutely, you're totally right on that front. Uh, uh, continuity is going to likely to prevail here, regardless of who's going to win the election. Also, we should keep in mind one, one clear thing here. The next president is going to be severely constrained by congressional politics, which is going to be extremely divisive, and also by the economic difficulties the U.S. is facing. So the ability of the U.S. air, the, of the United States, to play a key role in dealing with the Eurozone crisis is simply not there, regardless of whether it's going to be Obama or Romney, the next U.S. president. Some interesting stuff there. Well, thanks very much indeed for that. Wolf Pickley from Eurasia Group there.